Let's bring in now legendary investor Mark Mobius, founding partner of Mobius Capital Partners. Mark, you're joining us in the midst of a conversation about crude oil, and I'm wondering where you stand on this commodity and whether or not we've seen some sort of a floor and if equities will seemingly continue to take their cues, at least in the short term, from crude. Well, I personally have made a bet that uh, this low price will not last. I mean, as soon as this, uh, say, the middle of this year, uh, later this year, I think the oil prices will recover. So I, I've actually made a bet on that. Um, but for emerging markets, it's wonderful. The fact that you have these low oil prices is very good for these countries that are importing oil, like China, India, Turkey. You go down the list, it's very, very good news. And you notice that China is stocking up. They're filling up. I think their reserves uh, are now filled up 70 percent of their storage capacity. And I think they'll fill that up more. So is, it's good news generally. Is that enough of a reason to be interested in emerging market equities? Oh, that's one reason. But the other interesting thing, it's amazing. I've just been doing some numbers. And from the peak to the lowest point on this bear market, uh, S&P 500 was down about 28 percent. MSCI Emerging Markets Index about 29 percent. So the difference was amazing to me because I figured that emerging markets would be hit more, you know. Now, there's been a recovery from the low, as you've seen, 15 percent roughly for S&P, 10 percent for MSCI Emerging markets. But generally speaking, the declines for S&P have been about 20 percent to where we are now and about 23 percent for emerging markets. So the difference is not significant. But the, the big difference, of course, is that there are many more bargains in emerging markets now because some of the companies, of course, have gone down by 60, 70, 80 percent from their peaks. So there's great opportunity. Uh, is there one name in particular that uh, is catching your eye that we should, we can be watching that that people at home could be trading? Well, I think because uh, these emerging market stocks sure. are not traded in the U.S., so it's very difficult to get them. But if you look at our portfolio, uh, again, uh, this is not a recommendation. I mean, I, I, we don't know whether we'll be selling or just buying. But uh, Yum, for example, is listed in China. It's a Chinese branch. You know, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, that's one name we have in the portfolio. Uh, but generally speaking, we're looking at these uh, emerging market uh, retail companies that are taking advantage of the Internet and trying new things in terms of delivery and so forth. That's really where the story is now. Mark, great to speak with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Mark Mobius, Mobius Capital. Tim Seymour, I go to you. Yum C, um, you know, Yep. Alibaba. Those are the types of names that it sounds like Mark is talking right. about. Well, Mark is talking about the consumption uh, demographic dynamic in emerging markets that uh, also as an EM veteran we've been investing in for a long time. And, and, and so, yes, uh, look, Alibaba has been very defensive throughout uh, a lot of this crisis, and I think it will continue to be. We talked about their investment in cloud. Uh, we talked about the, uh, the earnings to, you know, to the growth ratio. The peg ratio is very strong. How about a Mercado Libre in Latin America? How about a Yandex in Russia? Uh, how about different ways in which the consumer is either playing uh, some type of, of uh, online or e-commerce or cloud? Uh, or you know, essentially online media, these are ways to get exposure to the EM consumer. That's how you're going to outperform in emerging markets, because if you're following the index, it's making 10-year lows and has, uh, you know, and probably will continue to. Mark had mentioned the tailwind that some economies could get from this lower crude price. Uh, BK, I know you're worried about Japan. This theoretically should be great for Japan, which imports all of its energy, right? But not right. enough. Right. Yeah, so that, that's a tailwind for Japan, it's a tailwind for China, and I think that's the really important thing that Mark pointed out, is that you have to, in this environment, really know your emerging markets. You can't just blanket go say, hey, I'm going to buy emerging markets, because some of these countries are going to be losers. Some of these countries need revenue from commodities which have crater. So, you know, I think it's helpful to Japan, but just like when the oil price fell here in the U.S., that's great. Gas prices are low. But if you're not driving anywhere, who cares?